Welcome to Untold Physio Stories, a podcast that informs and educates by connecting you to rehab industry leaders who share their candid successes and failures in business and practice. This episode of Untold Physio Stories is sponsored by Edge Mobility System. Edge Mobility System is your online site for everything a PT, OT, DC, MT, ATC, or fitness pro would need. Get certified in blood flow restriction therapy or training online. Check out our full modern manual therapy seminars, ISTM toolkit, edge suspension trainer, portable tables, and more. Untold Physio Stories listeners can save 10% by going to edgemobsys.com. That's E-D-G-E-M-O-B-S-Y-S.com slash untold to save 10% off their first purchase. Edge Health and Tech Solutions. We do websites that work for you and give you an edge over the competition. Did you know that you have less than 10 seconds to capture someone's interest in your website before they click away? How about the fact that most people are accessing your website from their phone? Save thousands and get a fully mobile, appealing, and SEO-optimized website linked to your social media, email list, and Google My Business. All for one low price and no monthly fees. Why not keep doing what you do best in your business and allow us to handle the tech side? Let's get started. Find us at edgehealthandtech.com. Welcome back to another awesome episode of Untold Physio Stories. I'm one of your hosts, Dr. E, with Modern Manual Therapy, the Eclectic Approach, and Edge Mobility System, and of course, Untold Physio Stories podcast. Back with me today is Dr. Sean Reister, my good friend, local PT, former mentee, and uh, all-around cool guy. How's it going today, Sean? I, I don't really know how to how to respond. A cool guy is, uh, I'll take that one. I've, I've often aspired to be one. So, uh, I appreciate it. You made it. Yes. So one of our, one of our favorite patients back when we used to work together at, uh, a local clinic here in the Buffalo, New York area. Uh, he was a nice enough guy, but I don't know why, for whatever reason, he insisted insisted on talking to me about basketball and oh he loved it he did he, he was huge. loved he loved basketball i feel like he even i mean he was i think he was one of those guys actually we were struggling to get him in on time if you remember this i, I remember i'm remembering details now he actually even i'm sure he even came in lakers jerseys and yes he did we lakers were, jerseys we for would, sure he would often say oh I, I can't come at this time because like the game is on or you know the game will be on late and i can't come early in the morning because i'll be <laughs> i'll be watching uh you know i've been watching late the night before and i remember yeah. mary just laying into him like what's more important to you basketball or or your health oh and it was clearly basketball it was that's it's not clearly no basketball yes. right and in the first couple times i would just politely remind him i don't watch basketball I, you know, I don't watch basketball. I don't, um, it's not one of the sports I enjoy. He would just continue to talk to me about basketball, basketball, basketball. Finally, I was like, dude, I hate basketball. Okay. Like it, it eventually got to the point where, I mean, and again, you guys know, if you follow me recently, I only see people two to four times. This was like 18, 19 years ago when I would see people two, three times a week for like six months. So this is like every other day, this guy's coming in week after week after week, talking to me about basketball. That's where I eventually got to the point where I'm like, buddy, stop talking to me about basketball. Like, I do not like basketball. So eventually, I put him on Sean's schedule because I'm sick of hearing about basketball for the entire hour this guy is there. I, yes. And I I could tolerate basketball. So I was, it, I was cool with it. Yeah, I know you don't hate basketball like I do. No, um, I mean, but I don't really put him hate on my... it. But I don't enjoy talking about it. But the thing is, the problem was he was he wasn't just obsessed with basketball. He was really obsessed with you and basketball because when you put him on my schedule, it was the odd type of thing where I'm trying to talk to him 
about some stuff, and I'll even engage in the basketball because I don't care. However, he didn't care about me. He was still focused on you two tables over about trying to talk to you about basketball. I know. I'm not even at his table, and he's still talking to me about basketball, like ignoring whatever you're saying. Yes. And you'd like, I'd like to think, you know, if he was cle- if he was like a clever enough guy and not like a simpler dude, I'd like to think that he was just messing with me, but he wasn't. You're right. He was like, in a way, obsessed with talking basketball with me, who knows nothing about basketball. And in, I think uh, in a certain sense, the gentleman had, he was missing those social, those social cues where like, clearly you directly told him that you didn't care about basketball. And at one point even asked if he would stop talking about basketball, but <laughs> it didn't matter because he just plowed through, which by the way, the level of determination and persistence that he demonstrated we should all have at least a little bit of admiration for because I couldn't keep that up. That's like salesman type stuff. Right. Well, I mean, he was so de- – if he was as determined to talk to me about basketball as he was – if he was deter- – as I should say, if he was determined to attend his PT visits on the times that we had open as he was about basketball, I'm sure his rehab would have went a lot better. But anyway, Sean eventually got him to stop talking about basketball. I, I do. I think sometimes when I think back on this, Part of me definitely feels bad about what I did because, you know, it wasn't actually genuine. But in the balance of humor to like horribleness, it still wins out because it ended up being pretty funny. But the way I remember it is you were a couple tables over and I was sitting there and I was working on his neck and he was still talking to you. And the worst part was he just kept turning his head to look at you and I couldn't, I'm trying to work on him. And Finally, and you did hear it a little bit because you did this, what I said, really, you laughed. And one thing I will point out, I'm not good at it anymore, but like being a straight face, which was really important for this, I did nail that. That's one thing I nailed, but he was looking at you and I told him, I go, listen, I kind of like half whisper, I go, hey, man, hey, listen, the reason why Erson doesn't like basketball is his family died in a horrible basketball accident, right? I just... (laughs) Which, by the way, doesn't even make any sense. Like, there should have been more questions. No, it's there like should so have been funny. more questions. Like, what but could he, have possibly have happened? <laughs> exactly. Like, you know, the ball, like, it hit the backboard. Like, like it rebounded, down. like, Captain America's shield off of several of their heads. Yes. There is no – there's no real logical explanation. I would love someone to come up with one or a potential one. However, I just – I said it. He was like, oh, my God. And then stopped and he got serious for like the first time ever. He got serious and didn't care about, you know, trying to push the Lakers on somebody like some sort of a NBA drug addict type thing. And you went into the, we had that corner where we would type or that little, that little side area, the HIPAA safe area. And you went there, you were crying. I actually kept my composure and my straight face until I could get to there. And then I kind of, you know, gave him his exercise and I folded in half. And I think I lied on the floor crying because it was... That was ridiculous. That's it's either a low point or a high point for me. I, that's uh, that's rather I, I, I consider it a high point. I mean, mission accomplished. No harm, no foul. I mean, I don't know. I'm pretty sure he still continued to view basketball as his passion, and it's not like you drove him away from basketball or he considered it now a deadly, deadly thing. So I'd say deep, good job, good job. Deep in his su- deep in his subconscious, though. <laughs> There is part of his brain that is still processing what that scene must have looked like for an entire family to perish in a basketball accident. Right. That's... Right. So like the cops are the cops show up and there's like all the chalk outlines and there's a like a bloody basketball by the chalk outlines and yeah. the new the newbie cop is in the corner vomiting like oh. Yes. He's like, I've never seen anything like this, you know. <laughs> in my entire fifty year career. Yes. Uh, I was supposed to retire in <laughs> and two you days. never will again. <laughs> oh, man. The memories. The memories. I'm crying now. <laughs> hey, this, this, this has definitely been an untold physio story. What do you guys think? Leave your comments below. Make sure to rate us uh, five stars on Apple Podcasts. And thanks again to Sean Reister for coming on Untold Physio Stories. One of the uh, many times, hopefully, he'll be back as a as a co-host slash guest. Thanks so much, man. I appreciate it. Well, you can find me, uh, Dr. E, at Modern Rehab Mastery. That's our new online mentoring program. 
It includes modern manual therapy, modern patient education, and modern strength training. It's three months with three mentors, so one month with each mentor, four weeks, tons of modules, lots of CEUs, learn at your own pace for a month, then move on. Um, so go beyond the seminar. You also get chat room um, with your mentees and mentors and live Q&As every week. Check out all my products, Edge Mobility System. We have the new Edge ISTM toolbox that includes the Edge Mobility Star and the OG Edge Mobility Tool, our Edge Restriction System BFR cuffs. That's part of Dr. Kyle Coffey's Modern Strike Training BFR Certificate. Uh, I hope to see you at a live Eclectic Approach course soon. That's Modern Manual Therapy um, in US, Canada, and South America. And uh, make sure to rate Untold Physio Stories five stars on Apple Podcasts. You could also subscribe on Google Podcasts, Stitcher, and Spotify. And as always, you guys have an awesome day.